In today's video, if you're trying to get shredded, when should you do your cardio? Is doing it immediately after weight training an effective method to get shredded? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com and today I got a question for you. Are you trying to get shredded? If so, when is the best time to do cardio? Now today's question actually comes from you guys. So thank you guys for the great questions. I want you to continue to go to my Instagram direct message here. Send me your questions, I'll answer them directly. Or if I think it can help a wider audience, I'm gonna answer the question here. And today's question has actually got a lot of depth to it. And I've got a lot of thoughts on it because I've tried this method every single way. I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best approach. My goal is to get shredded. I'm six foot one, 205 pounds. I work out at the gym every day in the morning, seven days a week. I'm starting with 45 minutes of weight training. And after that, one hour of cardio on the incline walking level seven. My question, is it effective to do my cardio immediately after weightlifting? I found it difficult to separate the workouts to twice a day. Another question, I do not eat before I work out since it's so early in the morning. Just a protein shake after at around 9 a.m. Is my first meal is at 12. Is this okay? Thanks in advance, Avi. Okay, so first question first. Let's talk about when should cardio most be done and when is it most effective? Now, if you're waking up very early and training fasted for 45 minutes, my concern there would be, are your 45 minute weight training sessions effective enough for you to build muscle? You're training seven days a week. So what you need to be paying attention to is how is your strength? How is your recovery? What I used to do when I trained at five in the morning was I would make my last meal of the day very high in carbohydrates. That way those carbohydrates are ready to go. So my pre-workout meal was actually my meal before bed. Now I did notice I had a problem when my workouts got going over an hour and my strength really started to increase because I started doing this during the pandemic and I realized as my strength went up, I preferred eating once or twice before going to the gym. I just felt better. But is doing cardio after training an issue? Now, my first ever contest prep, my life looked a lot different. I didn't have kids. I didn't have a business. I did whatever the hell I wanted with my time. I also got up and went to work at like seven or eight in the morning. So I was not an early riser. Why? Because I didn't have to be. So what did I do then? I would go to the gym at six, do my training session for an hour, hour and a half. Then I would do my cardio after. Why? I didn't wanna make two trips to the gym. At this point in my life, it was just better for me. What I would do in that situation was after my workout, I would actually have a protein supplement because there is a lot of research that shows after weight training, there is a benefit to getting your protein in. However, if it's that early in the morning for you and you're not focused on building the absolute most muscle you can and you're happy with how things are going and you're focused on fat loss, it is a perfectly good strategy to do your cardio immediately after your weight training and then have a protein shake, okay? Especially something like low intensity incline walking. You're not gonna be breaking down muscle by walking. It's very clear that you're gonna be breaking down body fat as fuel with low intensity exercise. The fuel source that you use for any activity is based on the intensity. When you're doing something like resistance training, it's gonna be more glucose or glycogen based. You're gonna be using that for fuel. Whereas walking, it's so low intensity, the primary fuel source is going to be the breakdown of adipose tissue for fat. So I would say, based on what you're doing now, if you're happy, keep doing it. However, if I was going to give you my advice on what is the most optimal approach, and maybe this doesn't fit your schedule, the way I handle things now is a little bit differently. Obviously my life has changed, kids, wife, lots of obligations with work, clients. I prefer to get up before the world gets up. Like you, I get up at five, 5.30 in the morning, I do my cardio, but that's where it ends for me before I go spend time with the kids, get them ready for school, eat a couple meals, get some work done, and I go to the gym in the middle of the day. When I started doing this, I started noticing a few things. First of all, I've been hitting PRs in the gym. Even though I've lost 25 pounds during this transformation that I've been doing, I've now been at this since November. If you guys watched my video, I walked every day for one hour for 30 days to kick this off. Then I started tracking my calories. Then I started training my abs every day. Guys, I'm going through this journey to show you what it is. It's a very simple process. It does take some time, but if you're not in a rush, you're gonna really see the benefits. So for me, the real value in separating the cardio from the weight training is that neither suffers. When I started packing those together, I would notice sometimes if I was at the end of my workout and I knew I had to do cardio, I would think, man, I'm gonna cut this a couple reps short. Maybe I'll stop a couple sets before. Whereas now, when I go to the gym to train, my mindset is clearly on that task. 
Every set, every rep is focused on building muscle. Likewise, when I get up early in the morning to do my cardio, or if I need to do a second cardio session, I'll do it in the evening, eight, nine o'clock before I go to bed. Those things are so separated, I'm focused on the task at hand, and it really allows me to ensure that I'm getting the most out of each event. So in this situation that you're in, what I would really want to ensure is that your workouts are high quality. They are so early in the morning. Try having a very large carbohydrate meal. Make sure that your macronutrients are set up properly. And if you don't know where to set them, I've got the free calculator on prophysique.com slash calculator. That'll give you a great macro breakdown to ensure you're getting enough protein. Because although you might not get protein before you train, if you're able to get enough protein throughout the day, hit your protein goals, your strength and recovery should be pretty close to optimal and you should be able to handle both. I might suggest before you do your cardio, you either have that shake or perhaps you just have some type of a pre-workout or a fat burning thermogenic product like the one that I make, it's called Core Burn. It actually lowers cortisol, but it also gives you that thermogenic effect of having more energy so that you're not bonking out after a workout doing cardio and feeling exhausted. Remember, the more effective that time is spent, the more effective your nutrition is, the better the result is gonna be from your early morning workouts. And the most important thing here, guys, is that you get it done, right? So are you doing it perfectly? That is secondary to are you doing it consistently? All right, guys, I'm gonna to talk to you tomorrow.